There are two main phases of human development, childhood and adulthood. The transition phase between them is called puberty. There is plenty of individual variation, and the average ages of starting and finishing puberty vary according to overall health. Currently it looks like this. Anthropologists have studied tons of hunter-gatherer cultures and found that it's extremely common for puberty to be recognized as the beginning of adulthood. That makes perfect sense, given the obvious biological changes. The ancient Hebrews held a ceremony for pubescent females at age 12 recognizing their adulthood. For boys the same, but at age 13. The bat mitzvah and bar mitzvah are still celebrated today. In recent years however the age of adulthood has been creeping upwards. Some say that adulthood doesn't begin at the start of puberty, but at its end. Traditional markers of the advent of womanhood like visible breasts, or getting your first period, started to be ignored. Other people say that adulthood begins at age 18. It's unscientific nonsense, but whatever. That proposition extends childhood for several more years. In addition, the English language has a funny quirk. Some numbers end with the suffix teen. It has nothing to do with biology or human development, but the term teen, or teenager was a convenient way to describe young adults. In the 70s and 80s everyone knew that teens were young adults. That's just scientific fact. But around the year 2000 people began to reclassify teens as children. Of course, 18 and 19 year olds are also teens, so the age of adulthood got raised another two years. Then a very odd thing happened. Neurologists took pictures of brains and told some clickbait journalists about it. We got tons of bombastic headlines about how adulthood now begins at 25. It was, by the way, ridiculous junk science, which has been thoroughly debunked. The public is still convinced, however. Socially in America today, anyone under 25 is considered a child. Here's Sophie Duker's opinion. I don't think anyone under the age of 25 should actually count as like a human being. The guys at Rookie School Podcast think everyone under 25 is an emotional cripple. Teenagers don't understand how to actually interact with their feelings. They're teenagers. Sure. So do people basically under 25. Uh, <laughs> so. so let's adjust our timeline. Oh, wait, we're off the charts. We have to extend our timeline so that we can make childhood even longer. We have created a huge gap between real adulthood and the time when you are accepted and respected as an adult. Keeping millions of Americans in a state of unnatural artificially extended childhood is a terrible idea. No culture on earth has ever tried this before. It is a brand new experiment. And considering the massive mental health crisis our youth are currently in, with teen suicide rates at all-time highs, it's having tragic consequences.